Hello and welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, another video this time uh, about my frags experience of the week. Uh, my little frag log. Cheers. Just want to take you through some of the experiences I've had this week with various fragrances and purchases like some feedback and hopefully you can put some things down about your week and what you've done in the fragrance world as well i want to start off with a negative so that we can finish with a lot of positives i really have to i received this week two fragrances that i ordered from ebay from our rehab uh, this one is the clone silver meant to be creed silver mountain water get some very very good reviews on youtube come back to that and also uh, Zarat Hawaii, which is meant to be uh, Virgin Island water. Wow, I'm not even gonna spray Virgin Island water, uh, Zarat Hawaii. It's disgusting. I'm sorry, there hasn't been many reviews about this. It's, ugh, ugh. it's clingy, it's throaty, got some sort of propellant smell to it with some chlorine coconut that really doesn't improve at all through the life of the fragrance. I don't know if that's anything like the original. Wow. And that brings us to Silver, the one that does get a lot of great reviews. I don't get it. I don't get it. If it is like Silver Mountain Water by Creed, why is anybody spending the money on that original? Because it is the Emperor or the King's New Clothes, Hans Christian Anderson. You know, if somebody tells you it's good, it must be good. If it's expensive, it must be fantastic. It's not. I put an analogy on, on one of the vlog sites, or on one of the blog sites, that uh, I'd be better off getting my wife to gargle with vodka and burping on me. That would be a much more pleasurable experience than this. It's just like hairspray propellant. It really, <laughs> I get it, sorry. Guys, reviewers, a little bit more honesty out there. Rubbish. I'm gonna use it as, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, perhaps cleaning my glasses or, uh, rubbish. Talking about, negative reviews and what I actually see I find that after many years got another bottle of Jeffrey Bean's grey flannel and I know <laughs> this kind of pulls people apart in the community and I couldn't really remember the smell there was one note of it that was every time I thought about it I kind of got it in the back of my head and what I didn't realize is I bought Jeffrey Bean's bowling green first of all uh, which is a very lemon and piney, a uh, lemon like sherbet, lemon sweets and piney spray, which I love. That stays on the skin. It's, uh, it's very pleasurable. It's not chlorine. It's uh, not toilet cleaner like. It's a lovely gentleman spray. And I love this one. I can see the DNA between the both. No one mentions the DNA of this in here. I think perhaps the company has played it down because they, they want to be more pleasing with this one. But Grey flannel is a classic. A couple of my friends uh, on YouTube and on Facebook actually said, or oh, they sprayed it in the car once and everyone had to get out. I kind of get that, but it very quickly settles down into a really delicious spray. And I will be doing a review on both of these together and taking you through the notes and what is different and why you should like them, or maybe not. Earlier I was talking about clones. Here's a positive, a rag bar for men. Thank you to Mr. Smelly, he kind of, uh, done the first video I saw about this. I know there's many out there. It's meant to be a uh, Creed's Green Irish Tweed clone, and it is. It's very, very good, a brilliant daytime scent. It's not very strong. It doesn't last more than sort of four to six hours on the, on the skin. It projects for about three hours, I would say, three to four hours. But for this time of year, it's warm. This, it's delicious. It's lovely and very reasonable, 12, 13, 14 pounds, something like that, I think 12 pound I paid for it, if that. Um, lovely bottle, nice presentation, got a spray with it as well, a uh, 30 mil aerosol version of it with it. Really, I, I don't see, if you like the original scent or you, if you want to try a clone of Green Irish Tweed, I highly recommend this one. Ragbath on Men, I got it off of YouTube. All these fragrances, unfortunately, I paid for. I wanted to start investigating some of the UK perfume houses fragrance houses so this is very famous here Moulton Brown of London by appointment of Her Majesty the Queen supplier of toiletries 
Alton Brown, London. In hotels, in, in nice hotels, you often get their toiletries. They make soaps, they make hand washes, they make uh, body lotions, they make everything toiletry wise. But they also make fragrances, perfumes. Now, they're meant to be unisex. I think a lot of them edge on the feminine side. I bought this uh, secondhand used on eBay. Somebody sprayed one and didn't like it, which, you know, that's fair enough. And when I got it, it was as new, really. So that was lovely. I got it for about 20 pound. I think they're about 40 pound retail. And I think they're a bit more expensive in the States. So let me read you what it says on the back of the box. A courtyard of orange trees in dappled shade, lively citrus airs dancing the flamenco at dawn, azure blue skies above. Awaken your spirits with our modern classic, plucked from the Naranja Grove. Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Takes you on holiday. The fragrance. Top notes of orange, bergamot, and mandarin. A heart of neroli, cardamom, and galbanum. A base of musk, ylang ylang, and cedarwood. Signature, radiant, unmistakable. And it really is. Uh, the first thing that really hits you is oranges. That's the citrus in it. Oranges, there is bergamot as a slightly after note, but it really is oranges. That doesn't last for long though. That lasts for half an hour. Then it goes into a very flowery, the neroli takes over with a slight edge just to dry it up of cardamom, um, the musk, the ylang ylang and the cedar wood. It's a very beautiful floral skin scent. It does radiate for several hours. Uh, I would say it radiates for four or five hours and it stays on your skin for eight, nine hours. I've worn it all day at work. It is feminine. Uh, I don't think it's overpowering. Uh, would be nice to wear on holiday this time of the year. Perfect. Uh, it's a little bit stronger than what I would call summer scent, so probably better on a cooler day. And being it's orangey, uh, a lot of the countries of the world uh, actually harvest their oranges in October in the fall so I think you could wear it most of the time. The packaging very nice, very niche. Bring it up. This is a 50, 50 milliliter bottle. Very nice. Bring it in. Take the top off. Oh quite a click. Clicks on there. So you definitely can hold it. It's fine. It's quite a nice little heavy bottle though. They do a 100ml version as well. And let me show you this. The spray is a good quality spray. Oranges. Oranges with a slight mandarin flavour too, I think. But uh, even so. So, that's my week. A negative, but a lot of positives. I'm thinking about where I'm going to go. I, I mentioned on a lot of the Facebook sites that uh, I'm going to start collecting some of the classics. I've got Kouros by Yves Saint Laurent, by Versace, I've got La Homme, but I remember a lot of Zaro. I loved Zaro. I'm going to get uh, one that's not been seen that much. I don't want to mention it because someone might run out and do a, do a uh, review of it. So I've got one coming from the early 90s that I thought was amazing. Got to have a very creamy orange top note, but uh, that's to come. I've got lots of fragrances to do more reviews on. Thank you for spending your time with me and watching my channel. And as always, I better grab one. Smell good.